Hi guys, today's the day for uh, the end for a certain tree which I planted many years ago but it's not this one definitely not the uh, the bottle brush let's find out what we're cutting down today we're not gonna butcher it we're going to actually remove it completely chainsaws ready I'm ready are you ready yeah this guy here it's starting to come back out of uh, winter dormancy these grow back in summer so ready to roll I just had to turn that off it's an epic epic beautiful tree from the subtropics very well known in Australia it's called the jacaranda tree and as you can see the new growth is coming now we're about uh, two months behind the subtropics where it's from they get this uh, guy to flower at the beginning of spring here it flowers at the end of spring so that means it flowers uh, in September in the tropics and here in the temperate climate it flowers in December which is actually not even spring it's the beginning of summer yeah so three months behind okay so the reason I'm moving this guy off is well you guessed it right <laughs> I've got I've got I've got other priorities than uh, ornamental tree and this one here holds a lot of sentimental value for me a lot of memories I planted it only um, I think it was gee one month or two months after I moved here yeah before all this came about there was nothing here but grass only lawn that's what I found here right to the house all the way to the house it was just grass so I decided to plant a, a beautiful tree from the tropics back in 2001 yeah 19 years so I planted it as I said with um, a new beginning in my life or a new chapter and I, I really will miss it going but uh, gotta do what I gotta do it's like one let's have a look one two three wow four I can get four trees in here in this big open space see that four And you might think, what the heck, don't you have enough trees? Hey guys, it doesn't work like that. You tell that to a woman who's hooked on um, buying shoes <laughs> and doesn't wear them or wears them once. Well, at least I'm going to be eating from each of these trees more than once, right? More than once. There's not going to be one, not one of these trees that I'm going to ignore or um, not get a benefit from so let's get started now and remove this uh, this beauty with sadness see how it's blocking the Sun too see the Sun there that Sun is vital in summer because this cr this tree creates a buffer on the on the trees around it especially those two pomegranates that I've told you about these guys they need full Sun and in the afternoon that I get it sorry in the morning that I get it all right let's go aren't chainsaws beautiful huh Wow that took me 10 12 minutes 
to remove all those branches up there. So now I have three meters of trunk. It's around uh, 10 feet to remove. Thanks, buddy. Nice guy. Look what he did for me without breaking a sweat. Look at that. Huh? And look at that. We have a, a clearance in the sky for the first time in 20 years. Mm -hmm. Even if I left the tree alive to grow back again, all these trees here would get their sun that they were missing, especially this Indian peach. This Indian peach was only getting morning sun, no afternoon sun at all, which is right there. See that? Right in the way of the jacaranda. No sun for you, Mr. Tropical Peach. And uh, Red Shatut Mulberry, Pakistan Mulberry. No sun for you either in the afternoons. Oops, I noticed the first red mulberry on its way. How cool is that? Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of benefits, guys, over having a ornamental benefits for the, the fruit trees. You know what I mean? And like I said, I can leave it like this. Everyone will still get their sun, full sun, all day. And just let, and then have both, have both the jacaranda and the sun. And when it grows back, every year just cut it back, right? That would be a great compromise. But you know what? I don't want to do this work every year, guys. When you're in your 50s and 60s, you want to spend that time on doing other things that are more pressing. I've got a lot of things here that are waiting for me to get my hands on, right? I've got a spray. This uh, donut peach. See that leaf curl? Who's gonna do this? If I'm pruning the jacaranda every year. Huh? Look. Maintenance, guys. Look at this. Disaster. And aphids. See those aphids? Needs, needs time and, and effort. And uh, what else do I have to do? Water all these trees in summer. Two hours every day by hand. I don't have a sprinkler, sprinkler or irrigation. <clears throat> and every two weeks I've got to cut the grass. I don't have the ground mulched. Okay, a lot of work. I'm not gonna sit here and baby the jacaranda with my chainsaw. I would if I was 20 and 30 and 40. Right? More energy to um, expel. But when you're near 60, uh, the reserve energy storage is uh, at low, low level. Just enough to do everything else that's needed in the garden. Hope that makes sense. Uh-oh, it's Friday. That means uh, the neighbor's gardener is here. So we can both um, play the same music. Him with his uh, lawnmower and uh, trimmer and me with my chainsaw okay there's the uh whew, what are we at two and a half meters of trunk yeah that'll make a nice edging so guys exactly half an hour after I started, I'm done. <laughs> and I just started sweating now. First sweat. Whew. <sighs> yeah, we're also taking advantage of the, of the good weather to get a suntan. Don't be afraid of the sun. I keep telling you that. Don't be afraid of the sun. And stop blaming the sun for um, problems you're having. 
with your health. Thank you. So straight into the wheelbarrow. Let me take that back to where it's needed. And uh, this guy here, well, I'm gonna do the same with him. Try and lift him. That's the main trunk, the bottom half. And uh, use him as well for edging. Now this here, there's no way on earth I'm gonna be able to get that stump out. No way, not now. <laughs> not at my age. I keep repeating that guys because um, it's very important. Uh, if I was, let's say, uh, 10 years younger, I might give it a go. I've pulled out a few of these myself over the, the years and I know what it feels like. I know that I know. So um, what I'm gonna do is just kill it so it doesn't grow back. I'm gonna drill a hole in the middle here and pour in some uh, some nasty um, eco-friendly weed killer and let it have a slow death. Rest in peace, Jacaranda. Oh my gosh. Sorry, darling. It had to happen. I know, it's sad. <laughs>